What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Excuse my bathrobe, but I have not been feeling well the last 24 hours and just kind of been laying in bed and then realized I should probably film a video that I've been waiting to film for a little while, which is my last of three hauls. It is an H&M haul. So I don't know why, but I kind of said I was gonna get away from hauls and focus on lookbooks, but then I did some shopping. So I figured I would share the haul with you guys. So if you haven't yet, make sure you like this video, subscribe, but also follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Erin Heartbreak. I'm a lot more interactive on Instagram. Obviously I can't do that much with you guys on YouTube. So make sure you follow me there. Now that you have liked this video, and subscribe to my channel. We are going to get right into this H&M haul. It is so loud. Kelly's freaking out. It is so loud at my house right now. My, stop, stop. Oh my God, my father-in-law and uncle-in-law, uncle, whatever you call it, is here with Jonathan moving a treadmill into our house. So the neighbors in the back, their dogs are freaking out. My dog is freaking out. And your girl's just trying to film a video. So if you hear like men in the background, they're in my basement. And if you hear my dog crying, it's because there's people here and she's upset she's not saying hi to them. <sighs> so let's film this video. I'm just gonna wear these jeans for every top that I try on. These are actually, police, no. These are actually American Eagle jeans um, that I wore in like a different haul, so. I didn't purchase any from this haul, so I'll just leave these on, but this top I actually posted on my Instagram. Last week, I wore it to a fundraiser. I think this top was like $9. I absolutely love it. It came in a different color as well. Everything that I purchased was either a small or a size six, but that was just a bathing suit that I'll show you later on. So this top, super comfortable. It is um, really thin. So if I wasn't at a fundraiser that had like hundreds of people in a really hot place, I probably would have been a little bit cold, but it was perfect. I think I'll get a lot of use out of it this spring and summer. I did wear it with black jeans and the Gucci belt that I got off of Amazon, but I do love this top. It has like little ruffles around the bottom as well. And then obviously this button detail. I don't know why I am so obsessed with animal print, but I just cannot stop wearing it right now. So I'm not usually a fan of crop tops, but because I've been able to find jeans that perfectly cover my belly button, I want to give them a go again. I like the detail on this crop top because it does have the twisted feet. Oops, don't wanna see my bra. Because it does have this twisted feature and it shows a little bit of skin, but nothing too crazy. It goes all the way in the back around my waist. So I'm not like completely exposed whatsoever. If they have this in other colors, I'm definitely gonna go back and check, but I am gonna purchase it. It's really nice material. I like that the cut is a t-shirt, so it has a little bit of a detail for a crop top. Obviously wouldn't wear this to work, but I could wear this for a night out, running errands with leggings and sneakers. I have it on with jeans right now and just some flats. If you wear this with a belt, you have an outfit. And I wanna say this top was less than $10 too. I will leave all of the prices down in the description box, but for some reason they don't list them on the actual receipt, so. This was a size small as well. So even though with my new job, the office is super casual, business casual, I am in sales and I do need my appearance to be up here, not down here or down here. So even though I can wear jeans, I still want to dress it up a little bit. So one of my favorite sweaters is similar to this, but it's from Express. And I feel like Express, even though they're always on sale, sometimes their quality is a miss. So I wanted to try out something similar from H&M and I really, really like this sweater. I think it's perfect for spring. Obviously you cannot tell how thin this is, but this is definitely a layering sweater. You could wear this in the fall with a vest over it. If you're going into the office, you can just wear a heavier coat. Again, this is a size small and I want to say I got this for like $13. Again, I did not break the bank in any of these hauls. I, I shop when things are on sale. I never pay full price for an item. I don't care how much I like it. Okay guys, so this is another crop top, which <laughs> is such a random buy for me because I don't even usually wear a lot of graphic tees, but come on. Oh, 
Heartbreaker, Erin Heartbreak. I had to buy it, it was $4.99. There's no way I'm not gonna wear this once for $4.99, like I'm not passing it up. So no, this is not how I would ever wear this cardigan, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. I've actually worn this like four times since this order came in. Normally I never like to do that because I want to try things on first impression for you guys, but it just really worked. <laughs> It really worked. So this again is really light. This is a great piece for spring. The sleeves are a little bit bigger, but sometimes I will just roll them up. The length is just perfect for me. It's not too warm. It's not 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 enough coverage. Not sure how many times I can say not in one sentence. And I really do like the color. I can wear this with my other nude items. I can wear this with white. I wore this uh, to my nephew's birthday party with just a white bodysuit, jeans, and I think sneakers. I think sneakers, but you could definitely dress that outfit up and put heels on. I love how it cinches at the waist with a cute little bow detail. The sleeves are cuffed. They're kind of bat wing. It does have a V cut, but it is not low cut at all. Like nothing is showing. It also cinches in the back too to make sure that you get a little bit more shape over here and then it's not a bad length at all. Um, this, again, this is perfect. I'm looking for spring items that are business casual. I could definitely wear this with a pair of heels. I could wear this with flats like I have on now if I'm gonna be running into a lot of offices one day. But this is really easy for those warm days in the summer where you really don't wanna be wearing a lot of clothes or even a spring day and I can throw a cardigan on over it. It's super light, the material's really comfortable. This again is a size small. Okay guys, so you know I had to purchase at least one bathing suit going into spring and summer. Well, spring, hopefully summer, get warmer quicker. But I purchased this bathing suit because I saw it on H&M and I saw that, I don't know how to say her last name, I think it's Stephanie Letta, SMLX0 on Instagram had posted a bathing suit like this. It was quite similar except hers was from PacSun. Um, so I figured I'd give this one a shot. I purchased both of these pieces in a size six and the quality is awesome. It has this detailing on the sides, on both sides, obviously the detailing over here and then the back of it is pretty basic. I love it, I think it's super cute. It's obviously light blue and white stripes. You can make this tighter. The only thing I will say is, I'm not gonna show you my butt, but the bottoms are, you can see from the side, more covered than I am used to. But again, I do have a lot of like family pool days and family beach days in the summer with my parents, my in-laws. So this is just more appropriate, even if I'm hanging out with my godchild and my best friend's son, it just makes sense to wear something like this. So if you are looking for something that's cute, still a little sexy, obviously, with the detailing, but has some more coverage, I would recommend this bathing suit.